Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one question or one comment from my Facebook uh, page. This is from Mr. Ro, this is from Rogerio Franca. I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I pronounce your name properly. So Rogerio, he said, hello, can you apply textures to 3DS objects in this new version? Because I posted the new Dialux Evo 9.0. And uh, because I'm so curious because I received, I think, three or four questions about this. So I tried it now and see if it's really true that the 3DS objects in this new version of Dialux Evo 9.0 is not possible or maybe it's possible to use a texture. Because before it's, it's possible, it's easy. So I open now this one. I created one small project here. And I have, I think I have three objects here. I have three 3D objects. One is this uh, tree, and this one is another tree, and this one is the other tree, which I use from my other project. And so you can see I have a pale tree, a mono tree, monotone tree, and a one with a texture tree. So if I go to the texture tab, I can just pick material and click on the leaves, it will give me a texture of the leaves which I put in my wall here, outside wall. And if I click on the trunk, I'll have this texture which again I put here in this wall and also in this roof. And then I try to remove uh, the texture and place it with a simple gray color. And let's see if it's really possible to uh, provide texture or add texture to this 3D. Okay, so now that is monotone. And this 3D, we will colorize it with the same texture like this one from the original. So I'll go to the texture tab. I pick material and I click this one. So I have the leaves and now I'm going to apply it to my text to my leaves. And, and nothing is happening. Okay. How about on the tree trunk? I will apply, uh, I will pick this one first and I will apply it in the tree trunk okay so nothing is happening so it means in this dialux evo 9.0 it is not possible now to add textures on the objects so for example i imported this object let it be because i think dialux evo 9.0 will adapt the original texture from 3ds file so whatever te texture you have in your 3ds file don't worry because it will it will be adapted by dialux Evo 9.0 uh, unless you change it into different colors like right? for example here I can change this uh, the color of this leaves into a different color for example I want to change this one into red color so I'll go to the color material oh, let's go to the purple one so I'll change it yes I'll say yes yes now it's changed and if you change it you cannot change it back again with the original original texture unfortunately that's how it goes okay so be careful in changing the textures from your original 3d because it will not change anymore once you change it okay so for example i will go back pick material and pick the same material and colorize it again with the original texture yes nothing is going to happen now yes so the on the the note now here is you can change the texture of your 3ds file into different color but you cannot change the texture anymore okay so just be careful on that one or if you made a change or if you made a mistake go to your original uh, 3ds file for example this one so if you un just click this one and you, you will see it will be the active uh, object in your thumbnail here so go place it and then you will have the original texture yeah so like that okay let's remove that so you can have the original uh, texture and for example like this one I will keep this one because this is also not an original so now this is the active and I'm going to place it now again here and see the original texture will be there okay so just click on the object and then apply it again because it will be the original texture will be there in the memory of your 
uh, Dialux Evo 9.0. Okay, so no worries about it. And actually, sometimes it's better for you to show uh, the text, the objects in a gray or monotone color because sometimes it distracts the lighting effect if your design or your project is too colorful. Sometimes I prefer to have black, gray, or white in my design. My 3D objects are like that, black, white, or gray only because it's more formal and uh, it will not destroy the lighting effect or it's it's the the visual will focus on the light effect rather than the objects that you put in your design okay so that's it and see you again on the next video i hope you like this one and i hope that you are clear now with this uh a little bug with dialux evo 9.0 okay so see you again on the next video Okay, by the way, I'll be conducting my online training this coming April 17. So if you want to learn more about this Dialux Evo 9.0 version, join with us. Just go to my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and go to the shop. And yep, go to the shop and then go and select the um, Dialux Evo online basic. And this one. And then you will have you can you can now enroll and join us in this coming april 17 online training okay so see you in this online training